This week, I received a question from a member in the community and he says, hey, I'm a freshman in high school. I have good habits like weightlifting, tracking my meals, and I'm starting to even try reading. I smoke my cart at the end of the day, an hour before sleeping, but to be honest, I actually do it more times than just before bed. This is a way for me to escape my stress and to feel good. But now I use that excuse all the time because I do it more than twice a day and it's become a bad habit. The longest that I didn't smoke was a week, but ever since October, I can't stop. I need tips to stop smoking. It's a problem at this point. Now, this might be something Thing that you also could relate to if you're someone who found yourself using a vape pen much earlier in your life. The first thing you want to do when you have an urge and you want to smoke is to actually pause. Stop what you're doing. The moment you feel like you have this urge, you want to hit your pen, stop what you're doing, okay? And when you stop, notice what's happening around you in the present moment, right? Observe what your environment's like, what you were doing, and pause and just reflect on what that is. The next step that you need to take is actually observe what kind of thoughts, what kind of feelings do you feel right now as you've had this urge? to want to hit your pen. Now, while you're doing this, I highly recommend you slow down your breathing. Take full inhales and full exhales and focus on your breath and observe the dialogue that was going on within your mind, what kind of thoughts you had, what kind of imagery you had, what kind of sensations you felt that made you want to vape, that made you want to pick up your pen and hit it. And finally, allow whatever it is to arise as you're going through this breathing, as you're observing your thoughts and your feelings, as you're pausing and looking at your surrounding and what you were doing. Whatever it is that's arising, face it. It's natural to want to avoid difficult emotions, but here's the thing, the more you resist, the more they persist, right? It sounds opposite, but it's true. The more you feel like you're going to push things away, the more they come back. So if you can come to a place where you're purely observing, no judgment, you're not trying to make any conclusions, you're not trying to figure anything out, you're just watching what's happening. What you'll notice if you do this is whatever was going on will fade away. It will dissipate. It will not last forever. It maybe lasts for a few minutes, could be a few seconds, could be a few moments. There is no permanency in your thoughts or your emotions. And finally, if you don't know where to go, I I definitely think you should seek support, find family members, find friends, find people that you can trust and talk to about your situation. And if you don't know where to go, you can hit up the Better Yourself Discord community. I check it every single day. I respond to every single person who asks this question in there. So you can start there if you think that would help you. I hope you enjoyed this video and you would subscribe to this channel because I got a lot more good stuff coming your way. Leave a comment with your thoughts, share what you want to learn about next. And I'd be happy to make videos just for you. Take care and see you next time.